All right, Pesky Pole YouTube channel. We've got a little second and 10 football, a little tutorial right now. Someone asked a question that was Will, actually. Will Tool, I believe is his name, on, um, on one of the Facebook groups. And so, I mean, I love this game. Um, I, I like it because of the options you have and the fact that it's, it's cheap. I mean, you buy the game and you get every NFL season that come, that, that's that been on in the history of football. And every time a, a new season is done, they give it to you for free. The only thing you're paying for is new college football seasons or college football seasons past a certain, uh, like past 2013 or so. So to set things up, okay, if, if you want to play just a basic, a basic season, you're going to play existing season, okay, whether it be pro or college. Let's do pro for a second. So as you can see, the C's next to this means I've completed the season, okay? 77 and 2001, I've completed the season. Over here, the playoffs, 77 and 2001, are completed as well. The game automatically asks ask you if you want to create a playoff um, system once the road season is over. And it will ask you if you want to do it, you know, based on based on the, the, the format in the NFL that, that year. So it's pretty cool. Um, 83 and 85, I'm currently playing, okay? Um, but I'm going to show you something real quick, though, too. So 83 NFL season, I'm not actually going to do that project. I was messing around with this. So if I want to, like, reset this, okay, I go in. Let's say I want to reset this season. I want to play it. That I was, I was screwing around on some, on some settings. Reset. And it goes back now to um, 83 is not checked anymore. 85 I'm playing right now. Um, I'm doing a little project in 85 right now. I played uh, two games in week one. You'll probably see some of these games on the channel, by the way. FYI. Okay, so, but just, if you pick a season, I mean, I'll pick a season here. I'll pick something that I don't plan on ever playing. No offense to this season. I'm going to go, I'm going to go pick the, uh, 1947 NFL season. Okay. So. It's set up for you. Now, you can go to options. These are things I like to do. And these, once again, are things you that you can control or whatever. I like having injuries. I check that. I like having a home field advantage. I check that. I like doing the idea of start the QB with most attempts. Personal preference, because you're going to get the guy who started the, the most games that year. Um, but you have injuries in there as well. And so the injuries kind of can, can, you know, basically if the guy only played – half the season, um, he may be prone to more injuries. I believe that's how that goes, okay, and miss some games. So it, it, you have a little variation in there. If you want to keep QB starts or keep manual inj injuries, you can set it up with a quarterback who's available that week in real life, plays that week. Okay, you can do that stuff. You can – college poll, we're not using that. We're playing NFL, okay? So um, these are all things you can do – in-game options. These are all kinds of things for. I do my my font size large, and I'm a blind. I'm blind as a bat. Okay, and these are all things you can do. Okay, so I'm gonna play out the season because he wants. Because I want to show you. So I can sit there and play this here. I can auto play this. I can go. Um, Forty-nine. I don't even know these guys. Nineteen forty-nine, forty-seven. I'm gonna auto play the season. Okay, it's a 13-week season. Boom. Okay. And then over here, it says create a playoff. Click yes. Okay. And back then, they had just one game. Um, there was no wild card, right? So wild card zero. So they have it set up for you by default what they did in real life. And you can change it around if you want to change up how – they did things, but we're going to keep the NFL championship game. Um, 
to change your game venue. We're gonna put it at the um, default. Means is that the home is at the team with the best record, I believe. Let's just keep it like that. So we click create. Boom. There you go. Pittsburgh and the Bears. We're gonna auto play that. Boom. The Bears are the are the world champions. Okay. So I come back out of here real quick, and you'll see now that 47 has been completed. You'll see the 47 playoffs are over here. Boom, they're completed. Okay, so let's go do 42 now. All right, I'm going to auto play this season. I can do the options again. I'll do the options just to keep it consistent. Boom, home field advantage. Start keeping the most attempts. All right, boom. That's what I do. Auto play the season. All right, create the playoffs. All right, create. We got Washington and Green Bay going at it. Auto play that. And the, the Redskins, what did they call the Redskins back then? Uh, they were. They get the win. Okay, so now I've got 42 season and the 47 season done. And if I, um, so now I can, and I've got them over here in the playoffs, okay? So now if I want to do an encyclopedia, I've already got an encyclopedia that I've made, okay? So up here is the NFL. This is my encyclopedia I've already created from 77 and 91, the two seasons I completed, okay? Now, I'm not going to do this, but if I wanted to, okay, I could add to that encyclopedia um, by updating the encyclopedia. I can go and update it, okay, update NFL, okay, and then I go and choose these things I've played here, 42 and 47, they're done. You see all the ones here that I can use are things I've completed. So in other words, I've replayed the Super Bowls, Super Bowl 1, Super Bowl 10, Super Bowl 25, Super Bowl 6. I don't know what the hell that was. Okay. And I'll show you in a second. But right, 42, 47. I'm not going to do that because I, I'm not going to keep these in here. Okay. I'm going to create a new encyclopedia. So I'm going to go create an encyclopedia. We'll do, uh, um, you know, whatever. Tutorial. Boom. I'm going to select the seasons I want. Okay, 42 and 47. Kind of hold them down. What the hell do you do? Franchise definitions right there. Control Alt. There you go. Control Alt. So I did. And I'm going to create a sense by franchise. Okay, I'm going to create an encyclopedia. Boom. It does it for you. And there you go. This is a good encyclopedia. The best encyclopedia is PC Replay Basket Baseball. It's the best. This one is really, really good. It's really, really good. Really, really good. It's the second best. And it, but 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 it's really good. And it's one more reason why I love this game. I love encyclopedias. I love to be able to track my stuff. Okay. And so um, it's pretty cool. The cool thing now, you can kind of do all kinds of stuff with this. If you want to set up your own, your own thing here. So say, for example, I want to set up um, a Super Bowl. Okay. Um, not even that. Screw that. Just an exhibition game, too. I can do it that way, too. I can set up a tournament, a league format, a free format, a World Cup, a playoff, a tournament. Okay? And you can do it where you just, you know, whatever you create will end up over here under user. And if you complete it, you can add that to an encyclopedia. Like, in other words, one of the things I think about doing, like over here, 
I have all these exhibition games I've played, all these Super Bowl games I've played. I'm going to do it right now. So I've done all these Super Bowls, okay? So I'm going to create an encyclopedia. It's, I meant to do this before, so we'll do it right now. Okay, I'm going to create a Super Bowl encyclopedia. Just to have Super Bowl records and the whole thing. And so I'm going to include these four Super Bowls I've played. Okay, so I've got, I played four of them. Boom. Okay, boom, there it is. All right, and so you can kind of go through now and Super Bowl summaries I've played. These are all games I've played, and it gives you, I mean, there is no regular season because these are all exhibition games, right? So it gives you the leaders, you know, Roger Staubach, um, in terms of uh, offense. These are the games. These are highlights here, most points by one team. We can go through each team here. The Bills. Okay, so all that. Super Bowl six, I think I screwed up. So that, that Super Bowl six thing, I don't know what that was. That was some screwy little expression game I did. All right, so, um, so you can do all kinds of stuff on there. And then if you want to get rid of the encyclopedias, you can. Okay, so if I want to do, uh, I want to get rid of this or um, delete it, I can. So if I want to delete Super Bowl one, I can delete that one. I want to get a test from before, I can delete that one. Okay. I can delete that one, okay, and so forth. Um, but you can set up anything you want. So that's kind of, but if you're playing the basic game, you want to play a basic season project, you just go to play existing season and pick one out. And everything you see on here for the NFL is free. Everything is free. Everything is free. And you update the game when usually, it's usually before the Super Bowl's played, the real Super Bowl's played, the that season comes out because usually you can do a pre-play of the Super Bowl. I know Uncle Ron does that a lot on here. Uh, I know Al Red Sox fan does a lot in here too. Um, so it comes out pretty quick. And then you know, so that's NFL college is the same thing. You want to set up the season tools? You can you can do all kinds of stuff. College are pretty cool too. You can do a league format. Like I may do something like this. I may go ahead and just you know I'm an SEC country. And so I may go ahead and just say, like, um, do a 16 team. You know, you can do home and road games. You can do a poll over that. I mean, I'm not going to, you can do home and road. Okay. Uh, which that's a long season. That's a 30 game season, isn't it? So I'm going to do, I'm gonna do a, a 15 game season, right? There's 16 teams, play 15, everyone plays each other. Is my math correct? All right. So, Right there, boom. And I can choose the college season and, and put all SEC teams in there. I can name it something. SEC 2022, whatever it is. Okay, and you play that out. Now, the only thing that, that kind of sucks, okay, is you cannot do an encyclopedia for the college seasons. Um, I asked why. And... Um, Richard Hanna actually emailed me back and said it's just that it's just too many damn teams. I mean, there's so many teams in college that's at the encyclopedia. It's just and here's the other thing too. I don't I'm not I think I'm one of the exceptions in that 
I love the encyclopedia. I'm not sure when he uses it. I'm not sure how, long, how much it gets used. And so they probably could do one for college, but I think the 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 task of doing it maybe isn't the payoff. I mean, they'd have, probably have to do it and sell it separately, which I'd buy. I'd buy the you know, college one in a second. That's another thing I hate about the college the, the college football project is that I can't really track it. I mean, I can track it. I can I can keep them saved and look back at them. Do my own spreadsheet, I guess. I mean, it's not like it's hard, but that's the only downside of it all. Um, so I'm trying to think what else that you wanted to know about kind of setting up the game. But this basically, I, I made this for a, a guy named Will. I mean, it's for anybody really. But and see, I always kind of assume people know how to do this stuff, and I hate to make videos like this because sometimes I think, well, I assume they know it, but then I know how I am because a lot of games I play. That I have no clue how to play, and I find a YouTube video. I'm like, oh my god, I, now it makes sense. So hopefully this helps somebody. Um, if you're a long time second and ten player, you know all this stuff, and you probably can comment below and say, you know, do this, and you can try that too. I, I don't know everything about this game. I, I play it for a long time, and I, I have a certain way I play it. And I made a video uh, last week, two weeks ago, about playing it drive by drive. I can be honest with you now. Ever since I started playing a drive-by-drive -drive kind of version of the game, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and look at my channel so you'll see second and ten drive-by-drive. -drive. Um, I don't want to play it any other way. And uh, I'm really excited about doing some projects. I'm doing the 85 project right now. Um, let me pull that up real quick. So the 85 project right now, and um, we'll check it out. And... Um, I actually simulated this game. I actually played this game, the Buffalo Bills, 34-31. The Bills were horrible that year. I actually went to a game with a kid. The Bills for the Cowboys. I believe it's in week 10. When did they play the Cowboys? Was that 80, was that 84? That might have been 84. I think it was 84. I'm off a year. Anyway. The Bills went. What were they? They went two and fourteen. They went two and fourteen years before that too, I believe, didn't they? God, I'm, I'm losing my mind. Did the Bills play the Cowboys? I'm gonna lose my mind. Let me check something real quick. Da, da, da. They must. It must be the next the year before. The Bills were horrible. But anyway, I played '85. I played this game. It was a good game. I mean, it was a sloppy game. Picks everywhere. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and play this. I'll probably play Monday night. I, what I'm planning on doing for the projects is every Monday night game I'm going to have on my channel and do it um, drive by drive. And then um, I'm going to coach a team. I think the Niners I may coach. I may coach like uh, I may do the Jets. No, I may do the Patriots. I'm sorry. I'm going to do the Patriots. 85 pats. What am I thinking? So I'm going to do the Pat Patriots, and basically I'm going to do drive-by-drive drive for the first three quarters, and then the fourth quarter kind of play as the coach um, and so forth. It's kind of my plan. So anyway, that's it. Second and ten little uh, tutorial. Hope it helped anyone out there who's playing the game. It's a great game. It's a, it's the best bang for your buck. Um, it's, it's my favorite football game. I mean, there's a caveat to that. Um, Pro Strategy Football 23 and 24 coming out soon is like these like these two those two games are kind of even but they're they're different games like you play them for different reasons they're different they're different uh, scratches that you itch I don't really can I don't really view them as competitors you know I view them as kind of complementary games. Um, you know, Pro Strategy Football has that kind of that that Tecmo Bowl feel to it, but it's accurate as hell. I mean, it's a it's a good it's a good sim too, and it's fun, and and you see the graphics and everything. It's it's fun, and the and the fields and the mod community is unreal. And plus, you can play a career mode, um, and and it's really it's really good stuff. So it, it kind of scratches different inches. This one here is more for that stat driven kind of. Uh, and it's got stats too, pro strategy football, but it's kind of you know it's different. It's a different type of game. This is more of the of the of the card and dice game from the PC. It's you know you're rolling dice in terms of the uh, the that idea. 
So that that's the difference. Um, more pro strategy football is a closed engine, um, and so forth based on ratings. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Any questions, leave them in the comments. I'm sure I forgot something. Um, and if you have any more questions, I'll try to answer them on there too. But uh, I like to see more people playing this game. I, I see a few people playing it. I like to see more projects. Um, I know I know a couple of guys do some great stuff with college football. I'm gonna do some college football projects this this year as well. Um, and uh, have some fun with it. So, all right, guys, have a good night.